for a fucking Star Wars expansion pack after you spend $60 on the fucking game on? already. What the God, it's hell? ridiculous. This one here has an expansion pack for $39. So after you spend 40 bucks on the fucking game. I mean, that's ridiculous. So it, uh, it seems like my dad is having one of his uh, raging. He's having one of his mini. He's having one of his mini rants right now. But what it looks to be like. bucks. Yo. For an expansion pack. I mean, good lord. My dad's almighty. having one of his actions right That's now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sixty dollars for an expansion Dude. pack, share. A hundred and sixty dollars. What? That is freaking what? What are you what are you raging about over here? What looks to be like a video game review? Just, um, I thought you quit video games. I did. I did. You why know? It's, it's it's shit like this is the reason why I I ain't going back. This is this is retarded. Oh my god. You're watching a video titled Microtransactions Need to Die. Yeah. Are you are you that uh, fed up over it? Well, I was thinking about getting back into it, but you know, this was the I saw this I saw this the day I quit. The minute I got into mobile, man, it was microtransaction this, microtransaction that. Fuck you, buy this. Fuck you, buy that. And the only way you're going to enjoy a title is if you blow an additional 15 fucking bucks on something, you know, to unlock it. I don't know, dude. I'm done. You're I, this done? This is ridiculous. Yeah. That's this crazy. Is stupid. I... I I just, I have no idea. I mean, if you quit video games, I'm just surprised you're kind of thinking, you thought about going back to it. Because th it, it's kind of old, it's been old news already. We've well, Maybe. I've... It's been old news. This stuff has had been happening for years, and you're now looking into it? or I, You know, I, I didn't know it had, it had gotten this bad. I was, I, I thought like, Five, six bucks a pop. I mean, that was bad enough, right? Right, right, right. This is, this is, this is overboard. I mean, for what? A, piece, a cheap piece of plastic and a, I mean, in guns. I mean, and then it ruins all the online play because now everybody else has the badass weapons and you ain't got dick because you didn't want to spend forty bucks on a game. Well, see, this is what <laughs> ruined it right there. Well, 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 look, look, hold, hold that thought for a moment. I was just thinking. I've, I'm working on a documentary series. I, I was thinking this would be a perfect opportunity to sit you down and have you like give your thoughts on it. Are you, do you want to give your thoughts on the whole video game industry? Because I, I can do it. I no, mean, I, I no, I... come on. Come on. Like, I need to get more proof to the industry that this stuff needs to change. Come on. If you're not going to do it, at least what? What? Are you, if you're not gonna do it, at least for the industry, do it for me, okay? All, all right. right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Fine. Recording now. All right. Are you recording? Yeah. Are we ready? Uh, yeah, we are ready. Right. Uh, so I'm hungry. I, I, want to, I got dinner on the way. All right. All right. So my first question to you is, how did you get into video games, and how long have you played them? I've uh, been in the industry professionally as a QA analyst for 16 years. Uh, I've been playing video games for a better part of 30, no, 35 years. Um, I've been in the, I've worked for companies such as Sega. Uh, we started the first um, network adapter. I uh, worked exclusively online testing for Sony for seven years. Uh, working at only on, uh, mostly on the SOCOM franchise, uh -huh. so Saucy Pants, that was my, that was my title, was, <laughs> you know. All right, so uh, why did you decide to retire from gaming? Well, once I, uh, once I lost my job at Sony, uh, I was laid off, they laid everybody off. Um, we, the only thing that we were uh, able to, a lot of us were able to get into was Facebook titles, and, uh, it it went south really fast, like microtransaction for Facebook games, and some of you might remember Facebook games, and then um, you know free to free to play, and then before you know it, you're dropping you know two or three bucks a pop, 
No, I was gonna nickel dime the shit out of you, and I said, fuck it, and then I was left, and I was done, I was tired of it. You know, that's... Oh, and what killed me was console gaming started doing the same thing. You know, ugh. Thanks, EA. Yeah. So, I take it you don't think the future of gaming looks pretty good then? No. Grim. No, not the rate you guys are going at. You know, I feel sorry for, for the millennials now, you know, thinking that they can buy a game for, you know, 40, 50 bucks at a video game store. Or, you know, you're, you're getting in it online and knowing that half of it is either gated on the title or you got to buy some bullshit microtransaction pack or some crap like that. Do you ever return to video games? No. No, not after what I saw there. That's that's ridiculous. I mean, what are you guys going to do about it? You guys going to call these people out on this shit, you know? Well, not me, though. I'm done. I ain't playing video games no more. Right. I'm retired, you know? I'm jaded right. as fuck. Alright. So, what? We're done. So you, are, are we done? We're done. We're done. Are you sure? Can I go eat now? Yeah, you can. Oh, man, guys, pain in my ass about this shit all the time. <sighs> so, my dad's done with video games. At least he says he is. And I, honestly, I can't believe it. I just, I can't fucking believe it. He's played video games most of his life. He's played video games ever since, you know, ever since I was a kid. It was always a childhood thing with me and him. It's like, we always play fucking video games. And, you know, he quit video games probably about like four to five years ago. I get that, okay. And some of his complaints about the video game industry changing, it makes sense. They make sense right now, right? The video game industry is changing. You've got microtransactions, you got loot boxes, you got all these things happening in the video game industry. Don't get me wrong. But it's also never, it's never been a better time to be in the video games. I mean, with the Nintendo Switch being out already, with, um, you know, with so many good games on all the cl all these platforms and all these online experiences from VR to, like, you know, even back in the day with the retro gaming, I'm like, it's, in it's very, very confusing as to why he's not willing to give it another try. Wait a second. Is that what I, what, what the fuck is this? Ah, oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? I don't know if he was planning to get rid of this stuff. He's got a N64. He's got a like 3DS. So hell, this is stuff that I played when I was a kid. He's got Quake? Quake? He still has a game Quake, okay. I definitely want to play that again. And he's gonna get rid of this stuff? Pokemon Stadium 2? All right, that's okay. Wow. GoldenEye 007 for the N64. I'm just, I cannot believe he's got all of these games. So my dad thinks he's going to be done with video games? Nah. I'm going to get him back into it. 